Good morning. Thank you for checking out the Carla Marie Anthony show here on Twitch. Carla Marie should be here in a little bit. I believe she is getting our drink ready for once we get through hype train or boost train, whatever they call it these days, level five. And as I look here at the chat, it looks like we're in level five right now for everyone on YouTube that can't see this. Um, but we've got to get through level five to get those shots. Now, I will put where is it? I will put this on the screen. This is what we're going to go through today. We got some uh, flea market finds that we got to talk about. And this is something where if you do have a really good story that relates to it, would love to hear from you, uh, whether it's in the chat or on the phone lines. Spoiler Marie, I don't really know what that's about, um, but I'm sure Carla Marie will give us that. Uh, overboard on OnlyFans. And don't worry, the conversation is not going to get like that out of control with the OnlyFans talk. And we do have a bunch of images of the things that we have on our You Look Great store, youlookgreat.co. So if you have not seen that yet, we will look through that. Um, who here is, who is hanging out in the chat this morning? Let's see. Hey, Carla Marie, we're 97% of the way through the hype train. Oh, or the boost train. No, now we're 100% of the way through the boost train. What do you got there? What? What is that? Skinny girl something and yeah. toilet paper? Uh, yeah, I forgot to take my allergy medicine, so oh. we might be in for a treat today. That's fun. Uh, thank you to everyone who got us through Hype Train Level 5, Boost Train Level 5. According to Twitch, they will now share this stream with 2,000 people in some way. I don't know how they're going to do that, but they said they will. What are you doing over there? I don't know why I look like this today. That's just how you woke up. You woke up like this, as they say. Kids say. As the kids say. Oh, I forgot to change the the screen in the back, but that's fine. We could do we could go with some. Uh... No. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this while. There we go. You can buy this right now in and the And this, store. that's why I wore it. Oh yeah. Um, if you see me turning around weird, like with my whole shoulders instead of just my neck. Oh. It's because. He uh, pulled his neck in his sleep two nights ago, and he has been. I did not pull it in my sleep. I pulled it at the gym. What are you talking about? Oh, I'm about? sorry. You're right. At the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Heather on Long Island said, does Carla Marie have a niece, Ella Marie? I was at the John Mulaney comedy show at USB Arena, and he called out a 12-year-old at the show named Ella Marie. Do I you? don't. Um, I mean, I have a Gabriella Marie, but no. Um, and she probably wasn't in Long Island. On Long Island. On Long Island. Yeah, I can't believe I said in Long Island. I also don't know why that is. I don't know if we've ever had well, confirmation as to it's why. It's an island, is it not? Okay, but are you in Hawaii or are you on Hawaii? You're on Hawaii. A any island. I mean, you're on America. America's attached to something else, though. You're on North America. Is it attached to other things? Uh, any island, you are on it. No, I don't, I don't think that's how it goes. Yes, it is. No. So are you on Whidbey Island here? Yes. No, you're in Whidbey Island. No, you're on No one says that, though. Oh my God, they do. No, no, they don't. You're making this up. Make up Marie over here. No, it's true. Let's go. Pour it up. Oh. I put we got some, some lemon. shots to get through. I put some lemon juice in there. It's always on an island. So I, you were on Australia. Thank I've you very much, I've never been Lenny. to Australia. We were on Taiwan. We, no, we went weren't. to Hawaii. Yes, we were. No. This is, okay, just continue pouring, please. You can't be this, in an island. You know what? This sounds like that stupid podcast you listen to. What is that one? Serial Where killers. Where they argue all the time. Uh, serial, serial killers. Serial killers, yeah. Ebert and Ropert. <laughs> I'm kidding. I uh, love them. But that's all they do. What do I call it? Scotty goes, no one eats this candy or cereal. And then Andrew goes, everyone eats this candy and cereal. And then Scotty goes, no, no one eats it. They haven't eaten it since 1975 because that's when they switched out the sugar to fake sugar and everyone hated it. So then they don't eat it. And then they change their mascot. And then Andy goes, why do you even know that? <laughs> Tell me that's not the whole podcast. I can't wait to send the clip to that. <laughs> I don't know why I made Speaking Andrew of, sound like um like Urkel from Family <laughs> Family Matters, but well, he sounds like when Andrew does his impression of Scotty B. Uh -huh. He sounds like Cartman. Yeah, he does. But he does. We're actually recording with Andrew after yeah. the show today. For two second tunes, him and his sister Jackie. And then Nate comes into the podcast sometimes and he's Hello. like, he's like, ooh, my balls hurt. We should talk about my balls. 
<laughs> He's British too. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> that's not even British. I don't know what I just did there. Uh, if you um, want to know what we're talking about, you can listen to the Serial Killers mm-hmm. podcast. If you give zero cops about serial, they have a sister um, the sister podcast, the Serial Killers. It's called Bowl Chat. It's all under the same channel. Mm-hmm. Comes out once a week. It is a good. It is a fun podcast to listen to. I'm right. just and I love those guys. Well, you were left. I was listening because you were listening to me listen because I it was. <laughs> Start that all over again. I was listening. I was, yesterday. No, you said I was listening. I was okay. You were listening. Yes, and you heard it because I was listening in the bathroom. Like it wasn't like you were. You could have just said we were listening. Well, no, because it wasn't on purpose. You were overhearing me listening. This again. This is getting very. Well, anyway, is... <laughs> I heard you laugh at something from afar, but I forget what it was. It was they were talking about different holiday traditions or something. Oh, I don't know. It's so good. Listen, uh, I you know what? I called them. We should talk about this and put their asses on blast here. Okay. To have a business discussion about doing cross promotion on their podcast and the Morning Show podcast on our Twitch and on just they had to talk about it on their podcast. That's it. We would talk about their YouTube channel, everything and do cross promotion. We would connect our YouTube channels like you could do that. Yeah. And Andy said, "Okay, I'll talk to Scotty." And that was 3 weeks ago. Yeah, but then Scotty's going to go Oh, uh, no one's gonna. No one's gonna go from their show to our show. It doesn't even matter. We we shouldn't even don't, do it. Don't they have people in Seattle? <laughs> uh, Wendy said, "Call Scotty." Apparently, she's telling us this whole time to call Scotty because they could be recording. Oh, I wish. So it would be fun if call. they had a phone line directly into their their board, kind of like we do well, here, they but do. they don't do that. Yes, they do. They do. Yeah, they can it's call not people. Always. Yeah. yeah. They have the same Superman. I know, but I don't know if they like have it set up. Let me get our phone lines going over here. Which, by the way, we are going to have these open today for you to call if you have anything to add to one of the things we're going to be talking about. You right there, Carla Marie? Yep. There we go. This is skinny girl vodka. Bethany but Frankel. They're not going to answer the phone if I call from here. Oh, no. You got to Bluetooth your phone. And you got to call Andy. Oh, my Lord. He's going to think that he's late for recording the podcast with us, the game. He's going to be very confused. Okay, hold on. It's it's connecting. Uh, there's we're too many We're just calling things. them to tell them that we made fun of them. That's, that's what we're doing? I mean, what else are we doing? Okay. Can't see you shit. know what? I'll see if they think my description of their podcast is correct. My favorite thing. Well, Andy's laugh is obviously one of my favorite things, but hearing Scotty laugh makes me so happy because when that grumpy little <laughs> crap gets happy, it's the best. What are you changing all the screens for? What are you doing over there? It's vodka with a drop of lemon juice. Careful with the fucking not on the screen. No. Why is that frozen there? Hello? Anthony? Hey, are Andy, you- what's going Anthony. on? Hey, you're on ball oh, chat. Oh, you're well, on ball chat. Well, you're on the Carla Marie and Anthony show live right now. Oh, wow. wow. So glad we picked up. crossover event of the season. Love that. What's up, guys? This is like Chicago and and Chicago Fire and whatever other show Grey's they have. Anatomy. there. Hospital Chicago. No, 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 man. No, it's like when Emergency met Chips when they first crossed over in the See? 70s. Nobody even knows what? what that is. Yeah, they do. You're 97, Scotty. Listen. <laughs> yes. So why did we start talking about okay, that? So we started talking about you on our show live, even though your show is like oh. lame and pre-recorded, But our show is live right now. And oh, wow. <laughs> what we did. Andrew's getting another call. Just let it be. No, I'm going to send it to voicemail. Okay. Okay, I sent it to voicemail. Continue. So, we were talking, we were arguing about something really stupid. Oh, and yes. I said, guys, I, well, I said, Carla Marie, we got to stop this. Mm-hmm. We sound like that dumb podcast you listen to all the time where they go, Ew, <laughs> where the one older guy goes, oh, no one eats that cereal anymore. They changed the they changed the recipe in 1975, and then they changed their mascot in 1982. And then the other one goes, eh, what are you talking about? Everyone eats that cereal. And I th- we just the wanted older guy. <laughs> we just wanted to know if you thought that my impression of your show, what you thought of it. It was really good, actually. Terrible. Yeah, I, mean, I thought it was decent. The older guy. I don't. I don't say that either. <laughs> you missed it. He was just being the older guy. What was he? What, <laughs> what was he being the older guy about? Yeah, what was I being the older guy about, Andrew? Because you're wearing a shawl inside. 
It's not a shawl. It's you're a the older guy. If anything, you're the older guy. Look at you. You're wrapped. I'm in a cocoon. cold. It's cold here. You're in a cocoon. In, I'm wearing short sleeves, and you're in a thermal blanket with a sweatshirt. A thermal blanket with a sweatshirt. Okay, let's calm it down. You can watch the YouTube video. They're uh, watching it. Okay. No, we're not. We're not. We're not watching the YouTube video. Okay. Well, maybe you guys can help settle th- one of these debates because Anthony said something yes, was in, in Long Island. So obviously, I corrected him on, and said, on, "No, no." I, on, and I on, and I know, and on. I know that. I know that. I know that. Hold on. Let me pre- let me preface. I almost always say on Long Island, but, but I forgot this time. So then but he started. I, I, I could, go ahead. Go ahead. Thanks. No, you. Well, then he started yelling about, are all islands, are you supposed to say on Hawaii, on this, on that? And I told oh, him yes. The great this, point. This, this, this was what I was just going to bring up because in the New York metropolitan area, people say in Staten Island. Yeah. And that's proper. So I don't understand why there's a difference. I would think it should be on Staten Island as well, but it is in Staten Island. So I'm not really sure what the difference is. I just know that people that live on Long Island get very defensive when like a comedian comes to town and they're yeah. like, Hey, here I am in Long Island. And they all actually just happened last week at UBS. I forget who the comedian was. John Mulaney. John Mulaney, I think. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's the show. <laughs> yeah. we were, that's why we actually started talking about yeah. it. <laughs> Shut up. You were there? No. no. Uh, uh, one of our listeners was there. And I Scotty, guess they, you yeah. know that if we go to Long that's Island, so we always call you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh, well, you don't always. Well, oh, here we go. What? I've literally never okay. been there and not called. So you. then, let me ask you this: um, Where yes. the studio that you guys work in? Where is it? It is in Tribeca. Okay, on, which is which yeah. is on what? It's on the island of Manhattan. There you go. I think when you're saying uh, obviously on the island of, but I I'm moving forward. We'll say when I was on Hawaii. That's though so, I've never that's been. That's gonna sound so dumb. <laughs> I was gonna say you. When were you on Hawaii? I haven't been yet. <laughs> No, but you used, guy? To, you used to work in Manhattan. But isn't, every, isn't, but isn't everything then considered an island? Well, then I, guess. I, mean, I would. I, I definitely. I definitely would say in Manhattan. Yeah, we're not in Pangea anymore. We're in Manhattan. Anthony yeah. tried telling me that, and I was like, "Well, you can say you're on North America." Yeah, that's not how it works. Exactly. It's interesting. I don't. I don't know. You know what? I don't. The argument it just isn't. You can't be in an island, so you're on it. So I don't. I don't know because it's probably all people that are just oh, like a bunch, 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 bunch of bunch of bunch of doo-doo-doos from Long Island who got to say on oh, not in. Is that it? Yeah, who get like oddly offended. My gold chain. What if I said I was I was going to the Hamptons? You're in the Hamptons, on Long Island. Yeah, that, yeah. that's a tough so one I actually. So it's like a it's all these you're little not, presets you have to say. You're not. On oh, the are you going? To the Hamptons on Long Island. That's right. Hey, Lame. real quick, before we uh, yeah. continue, well, we're not going to continue this debate because I think it's gotten on long enough. Uh, tell people, uh-huh. since we are live, tell people where they can find this podcast that you are recording once it's posted. Well, it's a little bit confusing. It's but not confusing. You can find it anywhere that you get your podcast. You know, what this is, is we do a podcast called Serial Killers with a C where we eat and try cereal. This is the offshoot that Andrew insisted on called Bowl Chat. So it's the bastard sister of serial killers. I did a better job I'm, explaining your podcast before we no, had I you think, guys I on. think Scotty did a phenomenal job. Okay. As well, the older I guy. did a phenomenal job. As the older guy I on this show. I did a show, phenomenal job. I, as yeah. the older guy on this show, I have to agree with the older guy on that show. And he did a very good job. Thanks. This is just the podcast where we talk about whatever, obviously, because you that Andrew talk. insisted on. Well, that Andrew insisted on. Strongly recommended I, it. And how has that been working out for you? Uh, it's an extra hour a week that I got to be here. Oh, I, actually, I it. before we let you guys That's go, it. before we let you guys go, and maybe you can answer this um, right now or on your podcast, I can't. Ricky, who is in the chat right now you know on Ricky? our Twitch channel, purple hair Ricky, purple hair Ricky, purple yes. hair Ricky is asking why yeah, Scotty is, is so mad. Thing to associate with why. It's, it's like a, that's like your, your grandpa being like, oh, that's purple hair. That's my purple hair granddaughter. That's how I know who she is. He's talking about okay. Ricky. Purple hair Ricky. What did Ricky want to know? I know, Ricky, I know lots of Rickies. Ricky wants to know, and I will say, let me, let me, uh, quick aside here. When we were in Vegas a couple weeks ago, we met up with our friend, John, who has been part of our little podcast uh-huh. family out here out West. And he said the only way he knows John, John's friend said the only way John's, oh, are I'm sorry. You okay? The only way John's friend <laughs> identifies John's podcasting partners right. are the buff guy, the blonde girl, and the girl with the purple hair. So, And that guy was actually younger than all of us. So I will say Scotty did not do an old man thing okay. there because that's how everyone identifies Ricky. Anthony just told that story just so that he could say someone refers to him as the buff guy. Okay, continue. Well, I mean, it did happen. Wait, they got disconnected. Oh, no. Oh, hold on. What the hell? The Superman box! 
The Superman box. Hold on. Don't don't go anywhere. <laughs> Getting blown out. There okay. Anyway, Anthony, Ricky said in the chat, why is Scotty so mad? Yes. Though? Why why is it so loud and I can't turn it down? It lower the lever. I did. Carla's so loud. Well, that's Carla that's a problem is. that I deal with all the time. Would you imagine? How do you live with her? I'm, oh, wow. You know? Just imagine how much I have to listen to her. Okay. Ricky <laughs> would like to know why Scotty is so mad. I'm not mad. Scotty is mad because I want born. tacos. Where's the list? I'm not mad at all. I want tacos. Andrew, won't we? He's like, no. I never said, said they don't open. No. I, because I Googled it. And I said, where can I get my friend Scott some tacos? It doesn't <laughs> open until 1130. The place I found is called Taqueria. Then you oh, said, yeah, that's why right. would someone why name a restaurant that sounds like hey, diarrhea? Yeah, no, blah, blah, blah. Listen, if that's a fact. If you were opening a restaurant, would you end it with Ria? <laughs> no, because it sounds like diarrhea. Nobody wants to eat there. I what about a cafeteria? And now here we go. Now Anthony's going to go, oh, I actually think no, the no, old no. man's right again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just think, there Scotty, Scotty, when you were in school, where did you eat lunch? Uh, in the lunchroom. Oh, you didn't eat no, it in a cafeteria? No, I had not well, I mean, that food gave you diarrhea, so it doesn't matter, <laughs> but I ate in the lunchroom. And I always ate the hot lunch. The only, you know what? I am like an anomaly Here because the only lunch I did not eat was on pizza Fridays when everybody loved the pizza. I hated the school pizza, but I ate all the crap during the week. Meat you know, this checks. Steak, yeah, I don't patties. think anyone, I don't think anyone is surprised, Scotty. It there's checks. not one, there's not one human that's like, oh, Scotty did that really weird thing growing up. It doesn't make any sense. Dude, are you guys on a speaker? And the audio quality, my poor ears, I'm hearing Listen. it through the cans. <laughs> the audio through the cans isn't right. As soon as they started talking about Ricky, all of a sudden it got like echoey. So uh, that was because our still? Bluetooth disconnected that's... and now we're connected a different way. But we are going to let you guys go. Um, and for the record, okay. Scotty, you sound like garbage to us. So that's fine. Ha. No, you don't. Are you guys around? Wait, are you guys around for the holidays? All? I'd love to see you. I texted you both. And what did you tell me? Oh, we're not here. And I was like, are you sure? Oh, that's Andrew. You can't ask him things. He doesn't know what's going on. Right, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm coming in, and we're going to do the peanut butter in the cereal bowl thing. No, you want to join dumb. us for a disgusting dinner party? We could plan <gasps> one. I don't have yes. time. Wait, uh, Carla gonna... Marie's allergic to peanut no, butter. No, I'll do sun butter. No, we don't, we're not doing that. We're not doing any trendy. We can do a fun, disgusting dinner party. Guys, Andy. guys, I love you. We're leaving. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, miss you. Bye. bye. Andy, in an hour. Oh. Andy, in an hour. Oh, I'm here okay. devil. That, I just had to end it at some point. Otherwise, it was going to keep going. And I, but I do love them very, very much. Um, all right. Whew. A dinner party crossover. What if we did their disgusting dinner party? Live on Twitch. Live on Twitch. But the only place to watch it after we're on Twitch is, is on, on their Twitch. channels and on their podcast. Okay. Well, I'll have to discuss with them. But we Twitch is the new thing. Are we allowed to talk about it? What? Twitch is new thing. Oh, yeah. We could talk about that. We, they told so us we were allowed to talk about we it. We were in like a Twitch conference webinar for Twitch partners, and we learned about Twitch's new, uh, not widget, like I don't know what we call it, feature called Guest Star. And you know how like when we have a guest on video chat, we have to connect with like Zoom or Google Meet or whatever. It takes forever and there's always issues. It's now a new feature in Twitch, and the only way to connect is if you have a Twitch account, which means we'll be able to not just do take calls with you, mm -hmm. you'll be able to video chat into the show if you want. You can also use the same thing just to do audio. Yeah, we're going to play around with it. Uh, hopefully, we might actually have to test it out today, tonight, or tomorrow night because be we're sure. going to try to use it when we're in New Jersey uh, because it would make life so much easier. But what's really cool is, like Carla Marie said, if you have an account and you're watching our show and you're in the chat, there should be a way where you can basically request to jump in with audio yeah. or if you feel like it jump in with video and we'll be able to pull you up on the screen and everything so it'll be it's, a lot easier than the the model that we have now it's going to be an absolute game changer and in the world of streaming I, youtube doesn't have this yet, yet for their live shows and i think that like youtube started pulling a bunch of twitch streamers away and i think this is going to be like oh like yeah very similar des to uh requesting on instagram live but they will have an option. This is what I love about it. They will have an option where you can do video only because not everyone wants to, audio. or I'm sorry, audio only because not everyone wants to be on video or is prepared or in a place where they can yeah. legally be on video. Yeah. So having that option to choose to do a video call or an audio call will be huge. Um, Carla Marie, 
Yeah. We've had these shots sitting here for a while. Everyone's telling Ricky to call. For what? I missed what happened. And she's like, no, no, no. Let them just do their show. I mean, Ricky's you always can, allowed to call. You can call Anthony's phone, but apparently, according to Scotty, it's so loud. Yeah, I would call the, the studio number if you want to do that. So cheers to you, Carla Marie. Cheers to everyone who supported the stream. Wait. Happy, happy birthday. What are we drinking? Skinny girl vodka. Bare naked. Oh, oh, no. See, why'd you go so fast? Because if you do that, I'm in trouble. Why? Oh, no, no. You did this, fat face. I'm screwed. Mm. Why are you doing the orangutan dance? Mm-mm. You look like mm. you're... What's that scene from Jungle Book? I want to be like you. Something like that. Don't spit it out. Don't spit it out. Don't spit it out. Carla Marie. What is your what is your watch telling you? Oh, I found this on the web. The Jungle Book. I want to be. Oh, it went away. I want to be like you on YouTube. All right. It's got 642,000 views from a year ago. I'm throwing that out. The Skinny Girl Margarita? Or no, not Margarita. Vodka? Yeah. Well, vodka's really, I mean, unless it's a very good... V- oh, it just hit! <laughs> Are you possessed? Is this the poltergeist of vodka? Oh. All right, we good? Let's let's move on. Uh, is Ricky calling? What's, what's Ricky up to these days? Well, I was just talking to her and Erica before the chat, before the show started, because mm-hmm. Ricky might be... Oh, well, maybe I won't say it's a surprise. <laughs> You know what? That brings us to one of the, the points we have. The hair. One of the points we have on our stream today, which is spoiler Marie. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> woo. Okay. So this is a day. This yesterday. This is a day, folks. The Seahawks played the stupid Buccaneers in Germany. First NFL game ever. Okay. Why'd you look confused? I just don't know. I just don't know where this is going. First ever NFL game in Germany. I thought it started at 9.30 our time. It was 9.30 Eastern time. So I was going about my morning. And then I'm like, I get to Orange Theory. And one of the women who I take class with was like, are you what? Did you see the score of the game? And I was like, huh? What? And I was like, oh, my God. So then I spend the whole class because my class, in the middle of my class, the game ended. So I kept hitting my watch going Seahawks to get the score. And at one point, they were only trailing by five. Like, Mm -hmm. they came back. And I'm yelling to the girl in class. I'm like, Russell, they're they're only down by five, four minutes left, and we're on the rower. She's like, oh, my God. It was great. We were bonding. So finally, I check. It's the final. And there's a guy next to me who, ironically, I, we would take all the same classes together, even in New Jersey. That's, his, that is pretty cool. His wife's sister is from where I'm from in New Jersey, and we were literally at the East Rutherford studio, Orange Theory, at the same time. So I know him pretty well, so we – like talk often in class. So as soon as we get off the row where I look at him, I go, Seahawks lost. They got, they were down by five in the last four minutes. It got super close. He's like, cool. I DVR'd it. <laughs> I, I do feel bad for the guy, but at the same time, I don't think live sports, unless you tell someone right away, I know. I, I don't think you can expect people to not spoil live sports for you. It's much I like agree. the bachelor. Granted. And he was also, in public in the city of the team that was playing. However, I almost feel like there's a little bit of a grace because it was a 6.30 a.m. game. Yes. And if you want, and I, and it wasn't just that I said Seahawks lost, right? It was. You you gave the whole thing. They were down by, they came back and were down by five. And I was just like, I went, ooh, sorry. Uh, Spoiler alert. (laughs) Claire said he should have cut you off to not get spoiled. But again, the game started at 6.30. What time did your class end? That was in the middle of class. So that was probably 9.15. Almost three hours after the start time. Like, I don't know. It's it, That's a tough call. Mm-hmm. I understand that there's, there is gray area because there's like a, this gray space in that discussion because of how early the yeah. game was because it was different than any other football game this weekend. But I would have told you, actually, if you were like, Anthony, I've got 100 bucks. I've got to either place it on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers or the Seattle Seahawks. If the game was in Seattle, absolutely Seattle. We would have spanked them. If the game was in Tampa Bay even, I think Seattle may have had an edge. But I think because 
everything was so new. And because of the travel over to Germany, I think two of the teams only got there like four days before the game. Or both of the teams only got um, there. I know Seahawks got there on Thursday. Um, and then there's a, there's something I want to talk about about this game, actually. Not football related, necessarily. But going back to football, I would have put money on Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers specifically because of Tom Brady. He's played overseas three times already. Geno Smith has never started overseas at all because they play games in, in the UK sometimes. And I think Tom Brady is someone who is so who takes so much care of his body and his level of preparedness for a game that I would give him the edge in Germany specifically. Whatever. He's an alien. He literally looks like the aliens from, I don't know, that movie where like they got the big heads and their eyes pop out. Yeah. Hey, your cousin Michelle, I just told her to call. Make sure your phone's on. Sorry, I just sniffled she the probably microphone. Didn't say it. Well, I sniffle the microphone every day. Yeah, but it's kind of gross. <laughs> you just do it on purpose? Uh, she has not called. Okay. But tell her to call the, also, the studio line because it sounds much better. Oh. Do, does she have the studio line? Come on. It's about a spoiler story. Oh, okay. And you don't know it. It's going to be great for your reaction. Um. By the way, this is a size small. I also wear it in a medium and a large. Oh, there we you go. You look great.co. Just a quick little pause. Is that her? Good morning. So who is this? <laughs> who is this? Oh, Michelle. How have you, how did you uh, find out about this show? <laughs> awesome. Well, it's phenomenal to meet you, Michelle. What are you, uh, what are you calling for? <laughs> oh, that's great. How did you get our phone number? Uh, okay so michelle by the way is is my cousin michelle basically my little sister so what story did you did someone spoil something for you or did you spoil it for someone oh, wait, else wait 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 pause they can't hear her oh oh there was so much fun going on there we go oh uh, well anthony was making jokes about how'd you find our show because he thought it was so funny continue <laughs> Um, so yesterday I, first off, I hate spoilers. Like I will stay off social media. Like I hate it. Like I like savoring shows. So I don't get that. Like, I just, I hate them. Okay. I don't even want to know there's a twist to anything ever, period. So yesterday I went to go see Wakanda forever Ooh. and I was, I was early. So like whatever, I use the restroom before I, I watch a movie. Cause it's obviously like a three hour. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. And as I'm in the bathroom, I guess a, a sh earlier showing was just getting out and they come in and they spoiled the end. Were they talking to you or talking amongst themselves? They were talking amongst themselves oh, in the man, bathroom. It's, it's almost worse. That's I literally screamed like WTF, but like the actual <laughs> word. Okay. And, and like, they like scurried out of the bathroom. I guess I've never thought about that though, because I've gone to the bathroom after a movie and you've been talking about it, not thinking that someone is going to go in right after you. But I, but I also you don't have a know. Point. But I also don't know if I ever like. Let's say I went to go see uh, what's that movie? Six, the Sixth Sense. Sixth Sense. She's tough to say. The Sixth mm -hmm. Sense, right? And spoiler mm -hmm. alert: the whole like point of the movie is that the guy's actually dead the whole time. <sighs> Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis is dead the whole time. <gasps> I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if I would have gone to the bathroom with my friend at the end of that movie if I saw it in a the theater and no, it was you like. Would've. Oh, man, I can't believe no. he was dead that you whole time. You would be like, no, because I know me. I would have been like, I can't believe he was dead the whole time. But there was that one scene where, like, you yeah. kind of had an idea and you would have that conversation. Well, Michelle, obviously, you're not going to spoil Wakanda forever for everybody yeah, now, because no. especially because it's opening weekend still. Mm-hmm. But how was the movie? It was good. I'm not going to lie. I like the first one more. Okay. But... It was still really good and really imaginative, and like it kind of blew my mind, like how they even thought of this. So I liked it a lot. All right, I'm, that's one of the ones I'm definitely going to see. I might see when I'm back in New Jersey. I guess when I have some downtime. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, love you. Appreciate you. Oh, I'll talk to you. Oh, wait, Michelle, I got to talk mm -hmm. to you um, soon because so Michelle next Friday is flying here, Black yes. Friday, and she's going to be taking care of the cats for a whole day before Anthony and I get back. So this is going to be fun. 
That's right. You need to document that's what you. That's what you stopped everything down for? I know. I thought people would love it. <laughs> All right, Michelle, we'll talk to you I'll later. I'll take care. Love you. Yes. All right, bye. Love you. You love look you, great. Bye. You look great. <laughs> Car- Car- you know what's funny? Okay, Scotty, what? Carla Marie used to always make fun of me when we had office jobs because I would, you know, talk to everybody and it would take forever to get out of the office. This is not the same. But Carla Marie, like, every time our stream is about to end or we're about to get someone off the phone, nothing ends with Carla Marie. There's always, like, a a but or an and. Okay. Or a, uh, hold on, don't go. But this is uh, at least providing entertainment. You are having conversations at every damn co-worker's cubicle on a Friday when I would like to get the hell home. Yeah. You can't compare. I like people. Go leave, then. (laughs) Uh, Less... Lest we, is it yeah, eighty three Marie me? Smith. Uh, Smith, I'm with you. I've definitely had conversations in the bathroom after a movie, mm-hmm. and now I'm going to be more conscious about As it. As you should. There should be signs like in front of like urinals and stalls and stuff that are like, "Don't talk about the movie in here." That would be fun. Um, <gasps> we should sponsor them and be like, "You look great, Taco." <laughs> I mean, if you can find the money. I mean, what? It's got to be 12 cents to put your thing on an AMC stall. So on the list, we still have flea market finds, which this is something that uh, if you do have something to add, we'll have the phone lines open for you. 201-305-0894. Were you at a flea market? No. But I have a similar. Just just wait. Did I go, oh, what would you spoil before we talked about Spoiler Marie? I didn't. I just let it happen naturally. But before we do that. You look great. Store is open. You look great. Co. Oh, we're going to show all of them. Oh, we're showing off. We are showing off today. First with the (gasps) newest item in our line. I'm very excited. I know your mom is very excited about this because it is a women's cut zip up. So think about like, remember we had the crop top in the summer, the hoodie crop top. Mm -hmm. It's the same company. All of these are the, you know, it's the same as this. So they should Fit the same way. Yeah, it depends how you like a zip up to fit versus yeah. a hoodie, whatever. It's the same idea of it is cut and styled for a woman. So there's no band on the bottom. So like this is a unisex thing. See how it's got the band? Mm-hmm. This does not have that. Why I, did we decide that men enjoy the, the elastic <laughs> band? Because I don't. I don't know. Yeah, but you would, you would wear. Absolutely. I have a hoodie that doesn't have a band on the bottom. Where is it? Love it. Show me. Uh, it's in the closet. Your neck is funny. When yeah, you're... my neck hurts a lot. So I would compare this to, I don't want to say a Lululemon. It's probably illegal. I don't know how to say that, but. No, you can compare anything. But there are some like uh, athletic style zip ups that don't have the band that it's kind of like that. I would wear a small in this because I think I would want it to be a bit more fitted, especially if it doesn't have the band on the bottom. Mm hmm. And again, you can always compare the the size charts are up there. You compare them to the unisex ones if you want. But that sage color is the same as the crop top color sage that we have. I do really, really like these colors. And we went with a lot of like heather or like mm-hmm. faded tones. Yeah, yeah. What? Tones. Oh. Um, also, I have two hoodies that don't have the, the elastic on the bottom. One is by Jan Sport. It's the Wisconsin hoodie that I have mm-hmm. when I bought when I went to go visit my cousin there. And the other is some random company my mom got me for uh, Christmas last year. Okay. Um, they are not Bella and Canvas. They are independent trading. They are the bomb. They're pretty. They're Our pretty t-shirts awesome. are Bella and Canvas. Uh, let's go to the next slide, shall we? <gasps> there are a lot of options here. Oh, I should have put one on. Our new beans. So we have some colors that are returning, like the black, the blue, the, the burgundy, purple, and green. But we've also got two very, very bright neon colors. Yeah, so there's neon green. In and even if they don't look neon here, trust me. Yeah. They are neon. I would um, just be it like everything that you see on the internet always looks different in real life color wise. That's one thing that we've learned yeah. doing this, that even you seeing this versus what it looks like when you have it physically in front of you is going to look different. Even people who have taken pictures in different you look great different articles colors. of clothing or whatever. Depending on the lighting, depending on their camera, depending on their phone, they all look different. Yeah, so So. just keep that in mind. The color will be a bit different. Keep an open mind. So that's a neon green, which is great for um, some football games. And the pink, I'm obsessed with. It is very Barbie to me, and I cannot wait to rock that. don't remember who said this in the chat earlier when the countdown was going on. 
But someone said they have already uh, ordered, I believe, the neon pink for when they take their dog out for walks in the morning. I think it may have been Jen and Lisa. If you run super early, take your dog out, do anything in the dark, probably a good idea to have one of those beanies. And then all the way to the right, which we're kind of covering right now, is a light oh, yeah. pink. It's only available without the palm. It didn't exist with palm. And the same thing opposite, but for the gold. And the that other. That's a red. I have the red. red. So. so those two are only available with palm. Pink is only available without palm. Every other color, as Check. you can see on the screen, is available in both. And now we move on. Actually, no, I'm going to keep that one. This one's the best one, so I'm going to keep it. If you want to be part of our You Look Great crew. I get it. You get it. Or if you happen to do crew out on Long Island. So that one that it actually, I can tell you right now, looks completely different. The one all the way, is it to their right? That's a great question. I don't know. I don't, if it I don't know. Uh, so it goes the mint color, which I have, and you've seen me wear. Then there's clearly blue. Then the next one. Oh, point down. Nope. Move this that one. Yeah, is, yeah. Is more of a purple, not like Barney purple. It looks like a gray on here, but if you go on our website, it's you, like if you mixed plum eggplant. and gray yes. together. I guess it's a purple. Let's do an exercise here. And then that one. The lower tan, the lighter tan, is the one I'm currently wearing. And that middle color, I think I believe it's called clay. And the top is black. I love the black because it's not harsh like a black. Yeah, it should be an charcoal, eyewear the other it's day. It's charcoal-ish. It's in the dryer. Um, so my friend Nicole messaged me this morning, Carla Marie. Okay. Um, off of your picture, actually, that you posted in the You Look My Great. nudie magazine day photo. Yeah. She said, okay, I'm definitely getting the charcoal in the crew, but I think I'm either... Going to also get the sand or the clay. Which one do you think is nicer? So let's let's pick Nicole's crew neck. I say I think not that I don't like the clay, but I think this is the more trendy color nowadays. The sand? Mm -hmm. You're not wearing sand. Yes, I am. That's sand? Yeah. I guess it does look the same on the screen. I told you. That's weird. It is weird. Like in real and I've had this conversation with Mike, our graphic designer, about how when things are printed, they look way different than yeah. what I'm seeing digitally. And he's like there's no way to fix that. That's just the world we live in. But because we see so much digitally, like when you print our logo colors and stuff, I'm like, wait, that's not it. And he's yeah. like, digital colors are always going to be way more vibrant. Yeah. And it's. Huh. It almost has like a, a green in there. It does. Right? But like baby poop. <laughs> no, not like baby poop. I do like this color a lot. So if that's the one on the bottom in the middle, I'm a big fan. Uh, Lisa said she got the plum. Do the crews run big is a question from Vicky. Okay, Bits. so Jen said, I ordered larges last time. I'm getting mediums this time. I can and do wear them in small, medium, large. Now, I know that helps no one. Yeah. So today I'm going to post a video of me wearing each size to show, like, kind of how it fits. But I gotta say, these are unisex, so keep that in mind. Ow, ow, ow. What you doing? how it fits and there's a size chart so if you have like a favorite sweatshirt that you love yeah. just measure your sweatshirt and then do that that's what i always do so this is a small granted i am five two so a small is even oversized on me and i've kind of broken this one in because when i first got it, i was like it's too tight i can't wear it but i've definitely broken it in. i prefer like i would say i probably wear the medium the most but oh i could send you looks like tucked in all right well we're gonna move on if you have questions about the crew you can message carla marie directly okay. i'm not really a crew sweater wearer not yet at least but Maybe I, li I like when you wear them you don't love it i don't love it it's not and probably one of our I don't, best I don't sellers love, though i don't love the bands you know I don't. so you want the crop top back yeah give me give me a good crop you want a long crop <laughs> um, uh, next on the list these are unisex and they are hoodies now a couple of them are coming back like the black one the charcoal all and of them. this uh, camo black one that All I'm wearing of them right now. Except the top. Just that rust color, the Texas rust, Texas orange, if you will. No, but don't call it orange. It ain't orange. It's Texas orange. People know what I'm talking about, like Longhorns, University of Texas. Yeah, but I hear the word orange and I want to die. Why? I want to die. Why would is. you want to die if you heard orange? It's called it's rust. rust. Yeah. So these are all unisex. They're They're very, very comfortable. Um, You're wearing a large? I'm wearing a large, I believe. You want to check? I can't move my neck too much. Large. Large. And I am 5'11", 195 pounds or so. It's not tight? No. No. Show your sleeves. 
Are they short? Nope. nope. They're not. And last but not least. Bam. Ooh. The no, Christmas the, collection. The t-shirts are in kids too, Tones. Oh, they are? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we've got t-shirts in both adults and kids. Those will match. Now, here's why we put both options, kids and adults, on the screen. You will notice that the adults, you look great. Just the red and green. Holiday sweatshirts. Sweatshirts, right? Yes. Crew necks. Crew necks are like that Heather kind of muted red and green, whereas the kids are more vibrant, bold mm. reds and greens. Yeah, they're made, they're like completely different brands. Yeah. Um, the, I think the kids might be Gildan, don't, but I can't remember what he ended up sourcing. They're kids. I mean, what's happening? That popped up for no oh. reason. Um, so those are the kids style ones. The crews for adults, those are different than this. The cut wise, like you could actually see you where see it's cut. Shoulders. It's cut here. Um, I believe those when you compare the size charts, every size of the holiday ones are a half an inch bigger <clears throat> than these <clears throat> for each size. Wendy said kids don't come in t-shirts or the t-shirts don't come in kids. So I think we're incorrect there, Carla Marie. What? It's right up there on the website. Is it? Oh, it is there. So there are kids t-shirts. I'm like, don't tell but me. But is it only red and black? Yeah. It is only the red and black options in kids. No green. Yeah. There we go. So everyone was, was a like, little bit right. go crazy. Everyone was a little bit right. There aren't all the options in kids. I was like, I kids. literally just built this site. But red yes, and green. Right. So if you, for whatever reason, wanted to do matching, like full-on matching things with your kids, do the t-shirts yep. or the black, you look great That's sweaters. gray. Those charcoal. Um, those will match. If you don't care about matching and you want to do the sweat sweatshirts, red, green, mix well, it up, like whatever you want. It's a little different. What, I'm just giving people the option so they know <clears throat> what they're getting when they get it. Um, I, in my crew neck, I got red. Anthony said he refused to wear red. Yeah, I don't wear red. So mine's a small and his is a large. I got the green, right? Yes. We'll have them. Um, we can show them off on Wednesday. So if you want to wait. Uh, sorry, we're flying Wednesday. Wednesday night, Thursday. We'll probably wear them on the stream. There's no rush to order any of these things. They're not. These are not going to sell out. Everything is pre-order only. If you want to get, I think it's like a dad hat, a towel, and a tumbler. Those things which have been in the store, mm -hmm. there are limited amounts of. Um, so if you want to wait to see exactly what we look like in those, you can. We or just that we can at least answer questions for you. If, you, if, if I'm wearing yeah. a large and you want to ask me how it fits or what I would get mm -hmm. for someone who's similar to my size but maybe a little bit taller, heavier, yeah. lighter, whatever, we'll be able to answer that after Wednesday. And, oh, you don't have the Orno? Oh, no, I didn't. It wasn't sent in one of those mm -hmm. files. It's okay. Every two items that you purchase – you will get a free ornament. So that means if you buy 10 items, you're getting five free ornaments. What are you doing? I was just, gonna... just tell me. I can do it. Go to yourlookgreat.co. Okay. And that will automatically be applied, like, in production. So <clears throat> when they're, sorry, when they're shipping. So you don't have to worry about. And what I do love is that the ornament will match the red You Look Great holiday sweater. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why, but I just, I feel like that's so cool. You can have. Yeah. Your own shirt on your tree. Our um, manufacturer did an amazing job with all this. He was, the, we weren't going to do a holiday design. We were just going to like kind of reopen the store. And he was like, look at this. And we fell in love. Yeah. And everyone's been reacting. So they're always like, all the DMs are like, oh my God, I love the holiday. So it's really cool. Plus it doesn't have like a year on it. We didn't do that last year either. We didn't want to put that on it because it kind of. No, but one day when we're big enough where we're like the Hess truck. Well, maybe we'll put it on the back. Well, I've been saying we have a 2021 style and a 2022 style. We so. just, when, but the Hess truck's been going on for like 70. How many Hess trucks are there? I know my brother used to collect them. Because I know it's back and it's better than ever. I just don't know when it came back from. I love that song. Sing it. The Hess truck's back and it's better than ever. Oh, wait. It's kind of like my boyfriend's back and we're going to be in trouble. Hey, no. <laughs> I never did that. It's similar, yeah. The Hess truck's back and it's better than ever. I think we have a lawsuit on our hands here. I'm I'm sure. I gotta call up the the angels who sing that song. <laughs> I don't know. My boyfriend's back. It's a uh I don't know. I have to look it up. The P 
pink ladies. Who? The angels. Oh, wow. That was pretty good. Yo, I told you, I am a doo-wop queen. It's Megan. It's Meg, not Megan, said 1964 was the first Hess truck. That makes sense. That's crazy. Yeah, so I know everything about doo-wop there is to know. That's what we've learned today. If when you've learned anything. When you grow up on 101.1 CBS FM. Did you see, I believe he actually got inducted, Broadway Bill Lee. Who went from KTU to CBS FM? I uh, just got inducted into the National Radio Hall of Fame. Somewhere along I'll never with be. Susan Waldman. Oh yeah, I love her. Who does the Yankees broadcast on their radio networks? Yeah. Uh, thank you, Claire, for clarifying this. So, um, this collection of You Look Great gear will be available until the evening of Sunday, the twenty seventh, which is the Sunday after Thanksgiving. Um, then it shuts down. No more orders. And. That's when they order everything that everyone. So, like, if there's ten of these, they order ten of these. This is how we can do this because we didn't we didn't put out money to buy all these things. Yeah, which is thank you for dealing with this weird pre order process. No, deal, doing this process allows us to offer more options without investing a ton of money up front and being held with a bunch of holiday gear, you know, past Christmas. Yeah. So, thank you very much for being patient with us. You should. Get them all at least a week before Christmas as long as there's no, like, crazy blizzards holding everything up. Because yeah. they do have all of the source material, I guess. Right? Like, the source things they're printing on. Source what you use when you're putting, like, together a book report yeah. or an investigative podcast. They do have all of the things that they will be printing on in-house. Yeah. And then they'll they'll ship um, and, one, the day the store closes, basically. They'll start shipping and, and fulfilling orders. And I will say that that date, those, those are, like... um. We gave ourselves a pretty big buffer, so we're hoping they ship sooner. I did see someone said this is more sustainable, too. I forget. It is. It, but you're right. That's why we do it. We're trying to be a B Corp. A what? A B Corp. What is that? Um, it's like one of the highest certifications you can get as a corporation when it comes to sustainability and environmental stuff. All right. Next on the list, flea market finds. So. I used to go to flea market all the time. I don't know if I've ever really been to a flea market, honestly. My grandparents love it. No, what, well, like, what makes it a flea market as opposed to, like, a farmer's market? Um, Food? I'd say a lot of the stuff is probably, like, it's, like, going a bit, correct me if I'm wrong, to, like, Chinatown. I thought it was more like a, a group garage sale. No. Like, everyone's like, oh, I have a bunch of stuff There's to sell. There's some stuff that people, like, make and stuff, oh, like okay. a farmer's market. But my mom always tells a story about how she bought a dolphin jersey for someone in my family at a flea market. And then when she gave it to them, it said dolphins. <laughs> so she had to return it the next week. So like, it's not like it is like a Scotty's right. It's like a high end garage sale. There's everything from people making stuff from their homes to people finding like things at vintage stores and kind of reselling them. Okay. So the reason I bring that up is there was someone, I believe in the Massachusetts area. Let me double check this story, but they went to a flea market looking for a gift and at the flea market they saw a painting and they're like i like that painting for myself so i'm going to keep it when they looked up what the painting could have been they said it was a replica of some famous artist's work okay. and then he spent three years trying to verify if it was a copy or if it was the original it turns out after working with an actual art dealer it was the original and this $30 flea market find turned out to be worth almost $50 million. Shut up! Because it was a painting from 19, or 1498. What are they? So it's hundreds of years old. It's a painting called The Virgin and Child. And it now hangs oh, in a gallery it. in London. And experts said it's up to $50 million. I, gotta, I need to know about. And my question is, have you ever stumbled upon something but obviously mm. probably not 50 million dollars no. right <laughs> and the reason I, this this connected with me was because over the weekend i've actually been talking to someone totally different um space in terms of what i was buying but a while ago i had posted that in my pokemon and game boy collection there was like one thing that i was missing and it was a nintendo 3ds and over the weekend someone messaged me saying hey i just oh. found this in my garage, and it was like a couple games, the 3DS. I saw the box and the manuals. Everything was there. And they said, 
are you still interested in this? I'll send it to you. I was, and I looked at it right away. I was like, this is in really good condition. Got some games with it. It's, it was like a special edition of the 3DS with the box. And I was like, you could probably sell this for three to 400 bucks. I can't, like, I'm not willing to yeah. offer that. And I don't want you to sell it to me or send it to me and then think I ripped you off. So by all means, go sell it. If for some reason it doesn't sell and you still want to get it off your hands, then then come back. And they said, no, you know what? I appreciate you telling me that. I just want to get it out of here and I'm, I'm happy to send it to you. And we came to a, a, a price. What was the price? Tell the people. 130 bucks. And who knows? It could have been valued more. I mean, people have sold that on online for five, 600 bucks. Are you going to resell it? I'm not. I, I wouldn't feel right doing that. Yeah, you're not that scummy. A little bit of scummy, but not that scummy. So but my question is, have you been on either side of that? Have you mm. stumbled upon anything that was worth a lot of money and actually picked it up at a flea market? Or maybe you've been in my situation and almost turned something down because you knew the real value and didn't want to rip someone off. Oh, I don't think anyone does that. But oh. um, And that number, you can obviously message here on the stream in Twitch, or you can call us 201 305 894 I'm going to go start collecting junk at flea markets now. Well, what was, the, isn't it that whole premise of that show with the old people that travel around the world? Um, and they look like old stuff at flea markets. Antique something. Antique roadshow. Antique roadshow. Isn't that like the whole premise of the show is they go to these flea markets and vintage expos and they rate people's stuff? Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't like buy things like that. Like I'm not really a collector. Okay. I have fair. a bu- I've talked about this before and a bunch. I have a bunch of Barbies in boxes in a closet at home unopened. Yeah. And the boxes are kind of dented and dusty now, but I think they'd sell for like 150 each. I think you should just clear them all out. Uh Lenny from Queens said I bought a Viper for 40k years ago from an old man whose wife wanted to just get rid of it. 3 months later, I sold it for 70k. I mean, it does it's not a flea market, but that's still in the same type of thing I'm talking yeah. about. Uh, Renee's right. Gary V. Mm-hmm. Gary Vaynerchuk. He, um, but he started the wine library and a million other things at this point. And now he just yells at people on Instagram. Yeah, but he makes a ton of money from reselling stuff. Or that's a lot. At one point, he made a lot of money, and he encourages people to do this to buy things at garage sale and resell it on the internet. Even like mugs. Like, you can buy a really? mug at a garage sale for, like, a dollar and resell it for, like, 15 bucks or something. Who is This is a serious question because we've thought about doing You Look Great mugs. Wait. We're not in the norm with this, for the record. This is the one thing you and I solely agree on, uh-huh. and the rest of the world does not. But here's my question. Who is buying mugs these days? I feel everyone. like everyone has 30 mugs. So, I posted. Why are a, you buying more? Right. I posted on Instagram that we had 20 something, 21 mugs, 20 mugs between the two of us. And I was like, why? And every response I got was, that's not enough. I have more. Yeah. And I was like, please, no one, every, it's a, it's like a cop out gift. No offense. If you're a mug collector and you love mugs, it's a great gift to get. It's a great gift to give for that person. It is a cop out gift. Let's see. So right away. In the chat, there was a lot of people saying, do mugs, do mugs. I want to buy you look great mug. I love mugs. Uh, and now we've got a couple people I saying, hate I hate them. I haven't bought one in years. Wait, whoa, new new person. Slap a zombie. I just spent 50 bucks on mugs the other day. Like how, how many, many mugs? Yeah, how many mugs do you get for 50 bucks? What was so cool about them? I would buy a mug. We're here like just shitting on mugs and we're about to put them in the store. Listen, what the people want, the people get. Um, I got three mugs for Christmas last year and I only use one. Life is a hike. I have... A ember mug, which is the one that heats. You need nothing else. Uh, Tacoma Swifty disagrees with you, Carla Marie. I don't think it's a cop-out gift is what she said in the chat. I say that because my family, (laughs) I have um, one that describes the definition of a daughter. And it's like, I don't know where she got this. Maybe a flea market. My mom. It's faded. And I can't get rid of it because I'm like, my mom got me this. It means something. Then there's one that my sister got me. And it's like. No matter how far apart, you'll always be close to my heart. And it's like an arrow in New Jersey and an arrow drawing to Seattle and like saying 3,000 whatever miles. And I'm like, I can't get rid of this. Why not? Because it's a meaningful thing that you gave me when I moved here. So those mugs, I'm not going to lie, I would probably get rid of. But you have one with your little cousin. And that's where I'm going to go with this. My problem 
is um, my aunt made me a mug with my two cousins' faces on it. And this is, I mean, this was given to me about five years ago. We should do a stream where we do like a haul of our mugs. I don't know if anyone cares. No, we, people would love it. I'm um, also slap a zombie who said they spent 50 bucks on oh, mugs. Yeah. Uh, 10 mugs, Japanese handcrafted. Okay. Well, that's kind of, that's cool. Cool. Like that's cool. But again, the question is how many do you need? Because I feel like this is very common. I think in most people's homes, you open up their, you know, the little cupboard or pantry yeah. or whatever, that wherever they keep their cabinet, wherever they keep their mugs, and there's always a full row, a full row, at least one, of just mugs. We used to have so many mugs, and I just had to get, a new, uh, like, a mini shelf to put in our shelf so that they were stopped falling all over. Um, DJ Faze is here. Good morning, DJ Faze. Good morning. He said, wah, 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 wah. That's how I feel about picture frames, throw blankets, and slippers. Oh, I just got my friend a slippers for her birthday this weekend, though. And there were two of us there giving her gifts, and we both got our slippers. And it was her 30th birthday, so I just said, welcome to your 30s. This it is was, just what people do now. Let me tell you what, though. These are North Face slippers. They're not just like... Psh, what, you want to show them off? You have the same... Anthony has the same different color, though. I can't, my leg is kind of stuck. If you could grab that. There we go. I can't reach down there. These things are awesome. All right. Well, we'll put a referral link... <laughs> You can uh, you can wear them outside. They've got traction and everything in the North Face, but I just wear them inside. These are my house slippers. But. So I don't slip. So back to your mugs with the photos. Oh, yeah. So I don't really even drink. Like, I drink tea sometimes, but drink I really. drink tea every day. I didn't drink tea yesterday, so you're wrong. Suck it. Um, Most days. <laughs> I drink tea. Normally, it's one cup a day. But I'm not you, someone who drinks like four, you know, mugs yeah. of coffee a day or anything like that. So I very rarely need more than maybe two mugs in a house. And I've got a, I've got two or three that I like and everything else is a gift. For the most part, or they have our faces on them. We have our, our car, the Marine Anthony mugs. Yeah, yeah I which, do love those though. They're cool. I can't get rid of that. No, never. I can't obviously, obviously I can't get rid of the one with my cousin's faces on it. They're like, I, what would, how would I? Even get rid of it. You'd have to throw it out. You can't put that in a good world because that's creepy. I feel like that's some bad juju. Like, what if the glass breaks and then there was like a spell put on that mug and now my cousins are going to have a whole terrible life because I broke their their mug? We had, like, it was just the go-to gift. Like, mm -hmm. picture, like, the picture of you. And it says, like, we love you, Anthony, on yours. Like It it's says super, something like that, yeah. We used to do that for my dad. Or the ones where, like, you bake them. So, like, you get the plain mug and then you draw on it and then you bake it. Oh, okay. I don't think I've ever done that. My niece got me one that has, um, it's a map uh, of America, and it's got like a pinpoint at all the national parks. I'm supposed to color in the tree as I visit it with a certain marker and then bake it. Okay. Bake it every time? So you go to a park, put it in, you bake, bake it. Bake it. Bake it till you fake it. <laughs> Let's see. Martha said, I have ones that change color when it's hot and it's a picture of my kids. I've seen a lot of those. I actually just saw one on Instagram yesterday. And listen. They're cute. And if you love mugs, I'm not telling you not to buy mugs and not to collect mugs. Also, I'm not telling you not to buy You Look Great mugs if they ever get released. I love the Go idea of it. doing a Yeti one because then it could be at home and travel. Yeah. But, you know, you're not going to get – Let me. I'm, I'm going to say something in a moment. But those will be expensive. Now, however, if you are someone that travels in a vehicle or shows up – and I, if you never speak to me again, that's fine – or shows up to a public place – with a regular at-home mug. My dad does that. You are a psychopath. Yeah, he is a psychopath. And you cannot be trusted. You are a loose cannon. You are chaos. You are dangerous. You you don't care about spilling hot things on your lap. My dad does. Uh, he does. They have like a cappuccino type thing in their house now. And there's these like cups that I guess come with the machine. I think it's like a Nestle product maybe. And... It's a, it looks like a, almost a, a smaller beer stein with a little handle. Yes. Right? Or a beer, like a pint glass with a handle. It's a little smaller. It's not your regular coffee mug. But my dad will make his cappuccino in the morning, and then he'll just take that cup. Nope. He'll take a couple sips. I'm not sips surprised. So it's not full. And he'll just leave the house, and he'll drive it, and I'll go, I'll go into his car. I can't do it in my home. It's, it's impressive, honestly, to a certain because even just leaving my parents' driveway, a little bit of a rocky, stop, rocky road. Uh, those kind of people, Nespresso, need maybe, yeah, maybe that's what they they use. Oh my! I don't God. know. I don't drink coffee, so I, don't, I know nothing about it. Those kind of people 
cannot be trusted. That you cannot, you can't trust them with anything. Yeah. I, I, I can't disagree with you. Um, but then on the other side of it is like someone like my brother, Justin. So my brother, Justin, who I normally is in the chat, but I believe he is in Disney this week. I went to drive his car the other day and there were oh. about three dozen travel mugs in his car. Well, ironically, he responded to my Instagram story about the mug saying something like, that's too many. And his fiance was like, you need more. Hmm. So I was like, there's a. <laughs> they live together now, so she probably makes that decision. Wait, slap a zombie said I'll answer on his behalf. Do you know him? No, I don't, I don't believe so. Uh, what else do we have here? If I'm not driving, I'll take out. Oh, so Sonali said if they're not the driver. They will leave the house with those mugs. No, no. I can see it as a you passenger. You do not get in a moving vehicle <laughs> without a lid. I can see it as a passenger. Um, I'm and- gonna make the. I'm gonna make a an Instagram video about this. Next on the list because we do have to get out of here, but I think we've actually hit everything for the first time in a long time. Uh, you can listen to the morning show no, podcast. What? I'm doing OnlyFans. I'm doing that now. Oh. You can obviously listen to the morning show podcast, and to anyone who messaged me or Carla Marie today saying the wrong intro was there. <laughs> Martha, I have replaced you. it. Um, it did say Friday. That was just me with oh, a brain fart. And? Um, and now it says Monday. No. What? And apparently on Friday, when talking about Yellowstone. I guess I said the Sutton Ranch instead of the Dutton Ranch. Just being a big, big dummy. You didn't finish watching last night, did you? I didn't. I watched the first of the two episodes. But moving on. Overboard on OnlyFans. Now, we've talked about similar things where teachers have lost their jobs because it's either been discovered that they had an OnlyFans um, or maybe they had like a provocative Instagram account, whatever. Teachers have, specifically teachers have been let go for that reason. This is a new one though. An Arizona couple, both teachers have been let go because not only did they have an OnlyFans, but they filmed one of their OnlyFans videos in a classroom. Now, no students were there, obviously. Like, that would be, they'd get arrested for that, hopefully. Um, it was after school, no students there. Do you think they should have been fired? They should not be allowed to teach ever again. Okay. That's not, you don't get naked in the classroom. I don't know what they did, actually. Well, That's a hard I mean, <sighs> If you're doing that in a classroom, yes. you should not be responsible for children. You can't make great decisions. I can decisions. see that argument. You carry a mug to your car without a lid. <laughs> I can see that argument. And yeah, Claire just put the uh, phone number <laughs> in the chat. So 201-305-0894. 201-305-0894. But I think you could make an argument. I think these people are dumb. Don't get me wrong. I think doing that and risking your actual career is silly. Juan, good morning. Good morning. All right, so I'll be brief. Okay. If they did it in the classroom, then yes. Okay. They should both be fired. No questions asked. Power of three, I do not accept that behavior. Okay, that's fair. But do we know however, what they did? Oh, sorry, go ahead. Give me your however. Well, no, no. It doesn't. If if they do the, if she was, it doesn't matter what they did. I mean, if they were naked, okay. let's just say they didn't have intercourse. Yeah. And they yeah. didn't have fellatio. They were just <laughs> naked walking around the classroom. I'm sorry. You're both fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm with you on that. What however, if they like kiss on? Listen, only wait, there's a however though. Oh, okay. Sorry, go. No, no. I mean, let's just say because of the pandemic and because of everything that happened, because I know people that had only fans because they were let go as teachers. Okay. And then okay. they they had to decide, you know, do I do an only fans and, you know, live, mm-hmm. you know, have a house and, you know, things or you know, I I ride this thing out. I move back uh-huh. with my parents. I you know because a lot of people lost their jobs. But 
I don't know. I mean, a lot of people right now have OnlyFans, and yeah, but that's different. They, like, I'm okay, all so... I'm all for anyone having OnlyFans. I don't care about that. It's where you're doing it. It's it should be. I think it's Sonali who just said, "Isn't it at least in New Jersey?" It's an offense to do it within a certain distance of a school, and if you get caught or convicted, you could be registered as a sex offender. That would be rather unfortunate. Now, Juan, let me ask you a question. If, for some reason, let's say this is a hypothetical scenario, uh, you get a message from one of your kids' schools, and it says, hey, we're taking a parent vote here. We found out that so-and-so teacher has an OnlyFans account, and we are thinking about letting her go. But we're gonna we're gonna leave it up to the parents. Would you vote to let her go or to keep her? Um, and keep in mind, nothing, nothing's happened only, in the school. It's just she happens to have an OnlyFans account. She happens to have an OnlyFans account. Then I would say, okay, how graphic is her content? Okay, if her content is super graphic, then I'm sorry, but I I can't let her because. The internet is forever, and everybody, it, it just gets around. Okay. You put something on the internet. And, you know, if, if it's not, because some, some girls just put, you know, bikini pictures or, right. you know, there isn't a, right. they're in a very, you know, tiny bikini. In but, their, no, we're, we're going to assume this OnlyFans. We're going to assume this OnlyFans is, is full on. They're, they're doing it. But unfortunately, the, the problem is the principal can't respond with, well, this is what she's doing on her OnlyFans. Like, well, I feel like all, all the parents are going to do their own research. Right. And then I, uh, Tacoma Swifty maybe just said, how are these parents finding these OnlyFans? Like, how did anyone find this out about these teachers? But so we'll for the figure record, that out but before we start reading all this. Yeah. I was going to say thank thank. Well, go on. Every day, go for it. Oh, I didn't know if you wanted is, to. Well, the internet is forever. Whatever you put yeah. on the internet. Yeah. And and this is what I the, the one advice I will give to you guys and to all everybody hearing the sound of my voice. Do not take picture of your feet. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, no, no. I complete this is be the first time I disagree with you. <laughs> take pictures of your feet and sell those bad boys. No, no, no. If you're going to sell them, yes. Oh. But like if you're just randomly in your Instagram oh, yeah, and yeah. your feet just happen to be on yeah. the picture then either cut it out or delete it. Get yeah. paid. Because there are people yep. literally making money of women's feet. You're so Randomly right. on Instagram, they just cut it and paste them and they put oh, it on true. a thing. Yeah. And and they just make a reel out of it. Or well, not a reel, but, you know. Yeah. And they just put account? it on porn yeah. websites. And you're not getting any re- revenue out of it. Do you get any revenue yeah. out of Wikifee? Mrs. Calamely. Oh yeah. No, but that's different. That's rating my feet. <laughs> that helps my feet uh, rank go up. Juan, we're gonna let you go, but that is very good advice. And thank you so much for hanging out with us. You look great. You look great. So, I did find some more information about this couple, by the way, just to to put a bow on this and move on. Um, it was an adult production that they did. It was a fourth grade teacher, and and so I think both of the the both people in the cuddle uh cuddle couple were oh, were um, elementary school teachers near Lake Havasu Unified School District. Uh, Wendy, you're going to have to turn us down in the background because we can hear ourselves a little bit. Oh, that's the delay. Yes, the delay. Hi, Anthony. Uh, there Hi, we go. Marie. Uh, Hello, Wendy. good morning. <laughs> so I gotta make you both laugh. I, I, I have you on my TV and on the phone. Um, I gotta both make you both laugh. I was Gabriel was literally just telling me about your this. son. Not even fifteen minutes before you guys started talking about it, he's actually sitting here right next to me, and he found the stuff on. It's all leaked on the internet, all oh, over already. Oh, uh, this from this couple, this OnlyFans yeah, couple. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he he has the stuff already. He's sitting right next to me. He can hear me. You're on speaker. Okay, so now that now that you have uh, done some investigation and you probably have seen what this couple has done, if they were teaching at your kid's school, would you want them to resign or would you want them fired or would you say, you know what, what you do in your private time is your private time? Oh no, they 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 should not be teaching kids. <laughs> No, no, I turned around and I said to Gabriel, was this like your, cause you know, Gabriel's in college. Mm-hmm. And I was like, was this at your school? He's like, I don't 
He was like, no, this is Summerland. At first, he was saying Massachusetts, I think no, it was. I did not say Massachusetts. Oh, no, you didn't tell me. I don't know where it was. I love this. Um, but he couldn't remember what state it was in. It was Arizona. But no, no. It, it, that, I, that would not fly for me. She saw it, too. Well, you he know what? Just trying to, if anyone in the chat... Want it. If anyone in the chat Everyone wants the video, they can message Wendy because now she has now she has all the access to everything. Oh, bro, I'm Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, thank oh, you so so much for, uh, you for hitting us up. We appreciate you, and you look great. All right, you guys look great. Love you. Love you. Bye. Love you. Oh man, uh, that was great. We're gonna end with Fred the Mailman saying that isn't Elmer's glue <laughs> on their hands. Well, as always, thank you very much to everyone who hung out with us for the past, whatever, hour and a half, however long we've been on here. The You Look Great store is open, youlookgreat.co. And on top of that, if you have not done so yet, you can listen to the Morning Show podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. Carla Marie, any last words before I hit the uh, the end button here? Um, No, reach out if you have any questions about sizing, style, whatever, for the merch store. And like I said, Anthony and I will be showing off our holiday cruise on Thursday stream. But we'll be here tomorrow. Peace out.